it's, it's a lovely farm. It's, it's um, unusual for north of town. It's, it's a really warm farm, which means that it's got sweeter felt and all animals, game and livestock, do better on sweeter felt. Um, it's got the ironstone ridges, uh, uh, which provides protection from, from the, the cold. It'll have a, an average rainfall, I suspect. And then um, it will get frosts in, the, in winter, being low-lying. But that's not a bad thing. It may reduce the growing season a bit. But what it does do is, is it gets rid of a lot of diseases early on in the season. And then it'll warm up and, and grow again. So, and the river itself is, is unique in that it always provides food. So when the rest of the district is dry and the rest of the farm is very dry, there will always be some food in the river to, um, to help the animals, especially old animals, to fat them or to raise that last calf. But uh, it's, it's, and it's very pretty. It's a very pretty farm. And it'll suit all sorts of uh, livestock and game. This area does very well with, with the indigenous types of, of, of livestock. Uh, cattle, uh, a small frame cattle like a Nguni or a Thule, um, the indigenous sheep like the uh, Damara, meat master, goats do extremely well in, in this kind of thicket. Um, more than meat goats like the, the, the boar goat and the indigenous goat. And, um, and of course game if you like to farm with game. It's, it suits a, a wide variety of game. It'll have indigenous game like kudu and mark reedbuck, stiemba, cliff springer, uh, diker, but you could certainly introduce other game. But as a livestock farmer, I'd, I'd concentrate on cattle and a, a meat sheep uh, with some wool and a meat goat.